there! Thank you for watching my channel. Today I want to show you how you can crochet this African flower granny. This is the African flower and sometimes it's made with a hexagon but I'm going to show you how you can crochet it in a square, in a granny square. So this is the front and this is the back. I did not block it yet so the edges are not nice and straight but if I block this work then it will be nice and straight. But this is what I want to show you and maybe I'm going to show some more squares in my next videos but I don't know what I want to do after this video but first I'm going to show you how I can make this one. So I have some leftover pieces of yarn and I don't have that this color of pink anymore so I use another pink and instead of the yellow I'm using a white. So let's get started. First I'm taking my green and making a magic circle. Then just grab your yarn and make a stitch so you can you secure your magic circle. And for now I'm going to make 16 double crochets in this magic circle. So I don't start with the chain 3 but I'm starting with a double crochet. So make 16 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So let's cut my yarn. And before I'm going to close this. Uh, circle. I'm taking my next color of yarn. So that's the blue one. And in that first stitch over here, your first double crochet, put your hook through it and then just grab your blue yarn or your next color of yarn, pull it through that stitch and on the loop on your hook and secure it with a stitch. So, like this. So for the next row, we need to crochet between double crochets so in this double crochet in, uh, between these two double crochets we are making three double crochets so just one two and three okay then chain one and then skip one two double crochets and between this double crochet and the next make three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Chain one. And then again skip two double crochets and make three double crochets in a space between the second and the third double crochet. So one, two, and three, chain one, and continue this for the rest of this row. And I'll be back with you when I'm at the end of this row. So I'm at the end now. Make one more chain, and then in that first double crochet, draw up a loop. And just make sure that your yarn is going through the loop on your hook. So you are ending your row. Just snip off your yarn and then just your round is done. And at the end you have to weave in all the, uh, the ends. But for now let's just continue. Grab my next color of yarn, it's purple. 
and make a slip knot. And then just in one uh, chain one space, doesn't matter which one, just grab your slip knot, pull it through that space and just secure it with a, uh, with a chain. And in that chain one space make two times a double crochet, one and two, chain two, and in the same chain one space make two more double crochets, one and two, and then let's go over to the next chain one space make two double crochets, so one double crochet, two double crochet, chain two, and in that same chain one space make two more double crochets, one and two, and just continue this for the rest of this round, so in a chain one space make two double crochets, chain two and two more double crochets, until you are back at the end or at the beginning of your row and I'll show you how you can crochet it, uh, how you can um, finish off this round and start the next one. Ok, so I'm at the end now, I already cut my yarn and on top of that first double crochet just put your hook through it, take your yarn, pull it through that stitch and pull it through that loop on your hook and just Make sure it's tight and then your round is done and let's go over to the next round. I'll take my pink yarn and let's make a slip knot. And then we're starting in a chain 2 space, it doesn't matter which one, but in a chain 2 space put your hook through that space, take your slip knot and pull it through and secure it with a stitch. In this chain 2 space we are making 7 double crochets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and seven. When I make my videos I um, keep in mind that the people that are watching already know how to crochet the basic stitch so that's why I'm not going too slow explaining how patterns are, uh, are worked or how patterns are need to be done so that's why I'm not going very slow and just crochet. Uh, how I crochet. Okay, so in the next chain 2 space make 7 double crochets. And that's 7. That makes the larger flower petals in this African flower. So just continue making 7 double crochets in the chain 2 space and I'll meet you up when we are at the end of this row. Ok, so I'm at the end, I made 7 more double crochets, I already cut my yarn and in that first double crochet just grab your yarn, pull it through that stitch and through that loop on your hook and just make it nice and secure and later you're gonna weave in your ends so for now we just continue with the next color I'm using blue again and I first make a slip knot and then in that first double crochet of your seven double crochets 
scrap your slip knot and pull it through that first double crochet and make, and make it secure with one, sing, one single crochet or just one stitch I'm sorry and in that first stitch I'm going to make one single crochet and in every next six stitches make one single crochet so on top of every double crochet you're making one single crochet so that's one two three four five six seven single crochets now we're gonna make a single crochet but not in this stitch with one row below so your hook is going through this space grab your yarn pull it up at the same height of your loop on your hook and then just make your single crochet so your petals will be a little bit um, more visible as you can see here if you don't do it then it will be like this and this makes it a nice contrast between the petals so let's go over to the next stitch and make a single crochet so on top of every double crochet make a single crochet that makes seven single crochets on top of the petals so let's make seven one two three four five six seven and then make a single crochet with two rows below so one two rows below grab your yarn pull it up until you are at the same height as the loop on your hook and just finish your single crochet just continue this until you are at the end and I'll show you how you can end this row and start the next one okay so I'm at the end now and I already cut my yarn and I only have to make one more single crochet but two rows below And then in the first stitch over here, your first single crochet, you just make sure you get your yarn through that stitch and on your loop on your hook, just pull your yarn through and just make it tight. And then this row is done. And now I'm gonna take green again and I'll make a slip knot. And now we have to count this is your petal with the seven single crochets over here so one two three four five six seven so from the left side just count one two three four and in that fourth stitch put your hook through that stitch take your slip knot and just pull it through that stitch and secure it with a chain in that same stitch make a single crochet and in the next three stitches make a single crochet so you'll be having four single crochets and then on this single crochet two rows below make a half double crochet and then again make four single crochets in the next four stitches or make one single crochet in the next four stitches and now we are making a corner so we have three stitches left over here before we have that lowered single crochet so first make a half double crochet in the next stitch make a double crochet and in the next stitch make a double crochet and then in that lowered, double, uh, lowered uh, single crochet over here so the single crochet two rows below in that stitch make a two double crochet so yarn over once, yarn over twice in that stitch drop a loop yarn over pull through two 
yarn over pull through two oh. and yarn over and pull through two so chain three and in that same stitch where we make the two double crochet make another two double crochet so yarn over once yarn over twice in that same stitch drop a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so what we did here we have to reverse it to make it to the other corner so we made uh, half double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. So we are making now a double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet. So in the next stitch, make a double crochet. In that next next stitch, make a double crochet. And in the next stitch, make a half double crochet. And now make four single crochets in the next stitches. So one. Two, three, and four, and then in that single crochet, two rows below, make a half double crochet, and then we are continuing what we did here for the rest of this row. So we are making another corner. So in the next four stitches, make one double crochet, uh, one single crochet. So one, two three and four now in the next stitch make a half double crochet in the next stitch make a double crochet and in the next stitch make a double crochet and now we are at the single crochet two rows below we make it two double crochet so yarn over twice and in that stitch drop a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two chain three and then another two double crochet in that next if in that same stitch and then again just reverse what you did here so in the next stitch make a double crochet in the next stitch make a double crochet in the next stitch make a half double crochet and make just one single crochet in the next four stitches so one two three and four and in that single crochet two rows below make a half double crochet and just continue to make the next corner so make four single crochets half double crochet, double crochet, double crochet and in this stitch over here make a two double crochet, chain three and a two double crochet and then double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet four uh, single crochets, half double crochet and just continue until you are at the end and I'll show you how to end this row so I'm almost at the end now I made my two double crochet now just chain three and in that same stitch make another two double crochet and then in the next stitch make a double crochet and in the next stitch make a double crochet and in that last stitch make a half double crochet then just cut your yarn and then in that first stitch you made just put your hook through that stitch pull your yarn through that stitch and on a loop on your hook and just make it tight you can leave it like this or you can make another round as I did on this granny square grab your next color so for now I'm using white and then just make a slip knot And it doesn't matter where you start your um, where you start your next row. So I just put my hook in this stitch, grab my uh, slip knot, pull it through the stitch, and just secure it with a chain. 
and in the same stitch I'll make a double crochet and I find it easier to do this so I can weave in uh, I can close this round on top of this double crochet instead of the chain three so in every next stitch make a double crochet until you are at the corner and make it on top of the stitches and not in between the stitches and then when, when you are at the corner make two times a double crochet so not a two double crochet but two times one double crochet and now just chain two so not three but two and then in that same space make two more double crochets and then every next stitch make a double crochet and this is how you are going to complete this round so make a double crochet in every stitch and I'm not going to show you how you making this whole round but you know what to do now so make a double crochet in every stitch and in the corners make two times one double crochet chain two and again two times one double crochet and then just follow along until you are at the beginning and just make your um, round complete by just going through this first double crochet and then just um, well cut off your yarn and pull it through that stitch over here and through that loop on your hook and then just secure it and there is your African flower granny square and at the end just weave in your tails so all will be nice in the back as in the front and your work won't come undone if you just cut it off here your work will come undone so just weave in your ends in your crochet work so this is what I wanted to show you so if you like this video give me a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment and I would love to read what you think of my videos and um, well I hope to see you next time with another video I'm not sure what I'm going to show you maybe some more squares I don't know but we'll see that in the next video and for now I just wish you happy crocheting bye bye